Welcome to East Coast Oak Reviews. Today, we're doing another beer review. This is another Proclamation Ale Company in collaboration with Vitamin C Brewing. So, uh, Proclamation Ale Company is out of Warwick, Rhode Island. If you want to check them out, you can go to proclamationale.com. This collaboration is called Three Eyed Fishes. It's a uh, triple IPA. Canned on date is 2 17 2022. So, today's. 6-2 so this still has like a couple weeks before it's at that uh, four month mark um, and personally when I first had this was, this was kind of like hot burn um, like that green hot burn booziness um, but I've never done a review I haven't done a review on it yet so I'm doing the review now like I said it's getting close to those that four month date but hopefully uh, a little bit of time calmed it down a little bit so uh, this, I got the website pulled up. It says Three Eyed Fishes, uh, Triple IPA, 9.5% ABV, eighth anniversary collaboration with Vitamin C. We took our previous collaboration, Weird Fishes, and kicked it up a notch. It's max hop saturation levels with one pound per barrel of Cascade of the Mash, and then double dry hop with uh, Cashmere, Azaka, and Citra Lupamax. Thick and velvety, punchy and boozy. It packs layers of Banana Foster, and tropical honeydew and is capped off by the sweetness of a sprinkle frosting donut. And it says availability collaboration. So the description sounds really good. Um, sprinkle frosting donut, honeydew, tropical honeydew and bananas foster. Definitely uh, some different flavor notes for an IPA. So yeah, let's crack this open. Got my uh, Spiglu IPA glass and let's check out the appearance of this one. Pretty nice out today. I've actually been working on the uh, lawn a little bit. So let's pull this up. It's pretty thick. It's like a orange, slightly brown, super dark, hazy color. It's like a super dark orange. Like I said, it's kind of even got like a little tint of brown to it. Let me see if I can get a little more of a head on there. Yeah. About a finger off white going towards kind of khaki colored head. Um, looks like it's holding some nice retention. A little bit of effervescence. Super hazy though. There's pretty much no clarity to it at all. It actually kind of has the um, appearance of like a uh, like a fruited sour. It's got that thickness super hazy aroma I definitely see like a like a honeydew melon but it's also pineapple maybe like orange like orange creamsicle got a little bit of like an acidity to it it smells super juicy though it smells literally like like pineapple juice there's a little bit of like uh biscuitiness like a biscuity malt aroma some sweetness as well possibly some honey yeah it's like like orange creamsicle, pineapple, honeydew. There's actually, the booziness is almost completely non-existent. 9.5 is a little low for a triple IPA, but it's still a high ABV beer. And it's definitely not noticeable on the aroma. I will say, um, when I first had this, I definitely say that it was a little bit more noticeable. Now it's super tropical and juicy. But yeah, let's dive into this. Cheers, guys. Well, that is weird. It does kind of have like a sugary, like, like powdered sugar finish. These gnats are bothering the crap out of me. 
and the finish is actually really good. It does kind of have like that powdered sugar, like they said, like sprinkle, uh, sprinkle frosted donut or something like that. I definitely kind of get like a, um, like the powdered sugar, definitely. So we do Doughboys over here. That's where I'm more familiar with the powdered sugar because you really notice it a lot on that Doughboy. Kind of like a beignet, but we call them dough, uh, Doughboys over here. Kind of has like this cakey consistency. Awesome body to it. Definitely a, a full bodied beer. Juicy and tropical up front though. Pineapple and orange. There is like a little bit of a slight booziness that's still kind of there. Um, but it's super sweet. There's uh, a little bitterness, there's a little bit of an astringency, hop resin bitterness. Some breadiness as well. Definitely a nice malt backbone with this one, but still hoppy, juicy, slightly floral on the finish. Yeah, that melon note actually is very prominent on the finish. I do like that a lot. Yeah, it's so creamy. It's almost like vanilla with that sweetness. Kind of like I said, like with, even with the aroma, it's kind of like an orange creamsicle. Yeah, this is a really drinkable beer for 9.5%. I will say the booziness did calm down a little bit, but it's still noticeable. Um, you still kind of feel it on the back end. It did have like this green hot burn up front when I first had it, which I definitely think that that's kind of diminished and more it's just uh, the booziness from the alcohol rather than like that green hot burn. But it still has a little bit of like a dank earthy hop resin aspect to it. Excuse me. Carbonation is definitely about medium. It's got some good carbonation. And it's a full body Cyclops scale. It's sweet, especially with that um, like that powdered sugar on the finish. I'll give it like three, three and a half and five sugar cubes, and about I'd say four to five hop cones. Um, this is definitely one of your more hoppier, bitter hop resin finish New England IPAs. But it's also a triple, so you figure there's a lot that goes into this. It's good. It's not a crusher for damn sure. It's definitely a little bit more on the sipper side. I really do enjoy it though. I could see myself having one of these and then maybe moving on to like a double or something else. But uh, yeah, it is it is a little filling. Um, but like I said, it's it's very good. It's like a it's like a dessert IPA with that little bit of that powdered sugar. Oh, this can's making a mess. Rating. I'm gonna go out and say I'm gonna give this one a. I like this one. Um, besides the booziness, I'm going to give a couple points off for the booziness. I wish that was kind of covered up a little bit more. The ABV is kind of low for a triple, but it's still a really good triple IPA. I'm going to give it a 97. Um, like I said, it's got that like powdered sugar on the finish. I like the melon note. Um, the hoppiness is there. The sweetness is there. Uh, the body of the beer is there. And uh, for what it is, it's, it's very good. I do enjoy it. Um, so yeah, 97 out of 100. I'm going to recommend it to you guys. If you guys like triple IPAs, if you guys can see this one, try it out for yourself. Like I said, very unique with that little bit of that like powdered sugar finish and super juicy, tropical, a little bit of citrusy note. There's actually a little bit of like grapefruit in there as well. Yeah, like a little bit of that slightly like pithy bitterness that you get from the hop sometimes say yeah more like like uh like pink grapefruit yeah good good beer gonna recommend it like i said and uh yeah they have if there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos like your beer thanks for watching guys cheers